the Super League is actually going to be a great league. I think it's going to be probably better than Champions League. Probably the most dominant league we've ever seen. Weekly is going to be a main event matchup, you know. The best teams of every country are going at it. Um, I would personally throw in some teams from South America as well. Uh, Libertadores champion. Um, two of the teams from, two of the best teams from Argentina and Brazil. I think you should throw those in there. Um, it's going to be a lot better than Champions League, though. The Champions League has been corrupt as can be over the last decade or two. Uh, one rigged game eliminates someone that should have won the match, you know what I mean? Um, whereas here, it's going to be a league setup. So one rigged game, or two rigged games, at least you can try to keep winning and make up for that. Um, uh, look at Milan. Milan, when they won it's the Champions League, they couldn't even win their own league. Ibrahimovic dominated them. Look at Inter. Inter wins the Champions League. They couldn't even win their own league because Ibrahimovic dominated them. Ibrahimovic destroyed in this setting, you know what I mean? Um, I think this is a lot harder to win than Champions League over the years because of the corrupt games, you know. A lot of those Champions Leagues, the winners only won due to corruption. Um, and then you look at the, some of the winners who win it, they play in these weak leagues, and they win their own leagues pretty much um, year after year after year. Well, now you're going to face the best teams in the world. Let's see how you match up week after week after week without corruption. That's the key. But the sad thing is the sport has been so corrupt over the years that, you know, it's on a downward slope as it is. And then you look at the corruption in the Champions League in the last decade or two. You look at 2009 Barca. You look at 2006 Barca. You look at 2011 Barca. You look at Real Madrid, the, the three-peat, you know. There's moments in all those where it was corrupt as can be, and the fans don't see it. That's what's funny to me, you know what I mean? 2009, look at the referee. 2006, look at the offside goal. 2011, Robin Van Persie got a red card for doing nothing. Um, cost them the match. Um, Arsenal was winning. They should have won that. Uh, you look at the three-peat. I remember they screwed Buffon one year. They screwed Bayern one year. They screwed um, offside goal. Salah should have got a red card for the uh, Ramos taking him down. This is just off the top of my head, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't plan this, so... There's probably more that I could keep going at it, but that's just off the top of my head. Um, without the refs, without corruption, these teams are nothing, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, my favorite teams are the teams that get the corruption on. You know, Chelsea and PSG over the years have been screwed every year, you know what I mean? Um, I hope they win it this year. Uh, because the other teams joined Super League because I think it's deserving, you know. The other teams join Super League, they should be punished, you know. Let's give uh, PSG what they deserve. They deserve that CL after, you know, the years of getting it screwed away from them, so.